Good morning and welcome to This is Another Day. Today's scripture reading comes from Philippians chapter 4 verse 8. And now, brothers and sisters, as I close this letter, let me say this one more thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and good and right. Think about things that are pure and lovely and dwell on the fine, good things in others. Think about all you can praise God for and be glad about. At first glance, it seems as if the Apostle Paul just wants to gloss over all of the disagreeable, unpleasant, and troublesome parts of life with a swoosh of a wand and live a Pollyanna-ish existence. But then we must remember that Paul penned this missive while he was in prison, jailed for offending the authorities due to his preaching about Jesus. He did not live a Pollyanna-ish existence at all. So how could he conclude his letter on such a positive note? Well, there is one thing I do know. Paul's focus was always on one person. Jesus. He was completely grounded in the reality of the truth of Christ. He trusted God's wisdom in the incarnate word. American author Paul Wellstone wrote, sometimes the only realists are the dreamers. The apostle Paul was a realist for he kept his eyes on the prize, the dream of God's beloved community. As a prisoner, he knew the reality of pain, torture, abandonment, and suffering. But so did his Christ. And he knew that the hope of Christ outweighed anything that life could ever throw his way. This is another day to fix our thoughts on what is true and good and right, even in the midst of difficulties. In doing this, we do not dismiss or disregard our pain, but instead we engage in an act of resistance, affirming the power of God to carry us through no matter what. So Lord, we thank you for the courage of the Apostle Paul to show us how nothing on this earth could ever dim the brightness of your glory. Help us today to grasp that same courage in order to fix our minds on you and for you to show us the way. Thanks for being with me today, and I do hope to see you soon. Bye.